Hey guys, what is going on? So I wanted to do a quick review of the new version of Glycerol that Gorilla Mind is offering. This is called Hydro Prime, and this is a higher yielding glycerol. Um, so you have to take less grams of this. It's not gritty. It mixes well. So it solves a lot of the problems that the liquid version of Glycerol does as well. Um, and so this is replacing the old powdered version, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, I personally didn't really have much of an issue with the grittiness and the you know poor mixability because I just really liked the product. I really like Glycerol. And so as I've said in like previous Glycerol reviews, um, that is a product that I would rather have than pre-workout. I absolutely love the improved hydration, the better endurance, the better pump, everything like that. So for me, I feel like Glycerol is a very slept on product because it's a lot cheaper to run than a pre-workout is. And I personally, like I said, the benefits that I get out of Glycerol, um, those are better than what I get out of pre-workout personally. Um, that being said, I'm not really like a stim junkie or anything like that. So if you are one of those people, maybe you really like, you know, the stimmed out pre-workouts. But for me, this is the kind of best bang for your buck um, pre-workout product that you can take. And I really, really enjoy Glycerol of all kinds, even the old gritty one. But this is a better mixing alternative. So should you get this? Should you get the liquid version? Um, you know, is this really better than the previous, you know, gritty version? I would say scoop for scoop, this is exactly the same as the old formula, the old like grittier one in terms of how it um, affects your pump and affects your workout, gives you extra endurance and hydration and stuff like that. So for me, I just double scoop this as I used to double scoop the old formula and just make sure that you're getting a lot of water when you're doing that. Now, how does this compare to the liquid version? So in terms of like mixability and how they compare, the liquid version is slightly better because it's completely seamless. You don't have to, you know, really shake it at all. It just kind of mixes in. It's a liquid. Um, it is slightly sweet. Obviously, there's no grittiness or clumpiness whatsoever. How this mixes is it is exactly like creatine. So if you've had creatine monohydrate, if you were to look in this tub, you probably wouldn't be able to differentiate this and creatine, they look the same, they kind of mix the same, they have that same kind of cloudiness. So slight edge to the liquid glycerol, but outside of that, you know, you guys who have tried creatine, I'm sure all of you watching this have tried creatine, it's exactly like that. Not an issue, you could dry scoop this if you really wanted to, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty big scoop. But um, in terms of how it compares, in terms of like performance and difference between, you know, the liquid and, you know, the old version and this one, I would say what I've noticed personally, and this is kind of, you know, very anecdotal because I have only tried this recently. I actually feel like this works slightly better than the liquid version. And I think the reason for that is not because there's any actual difference in terms of the effects. It's just that the whole time that the liquid version was out, I was cutting. And so I was not getting as much carbs. I probably wasn't getting as much like sodium and potassium and stuff like that. So my electrolyte intake was probably overall down. Um, my water intake was definitely very high throughout my cut, so that wasn't it. Um, but my carb intake was definitely much lower. And so when you factor in the electrolyte and the carb thing, I would imagine that was what was making up the difference between this and the liquid. But purely in my own experience, which again is very flawed based on what I just said, I actually feel like this is slightly better than the liquid. Although I've heard other people say that they preferred the liquid and they got, you know, the best pumps out of that. So I would say they're probably all virtually the same in terms of the old formula, in terms of this one, the liquid. So it's just whatever you find is the one that you want to use. Now, I think this is a little bit more cost effective because you're getting 80 servings out of this. And for me, I double scoop it. So it's 40 servings, but um, it is slightly cheaper than the liquid version, um, especially when you factor in the extra servings. And so with that being said, I guess this is the better bang for your buck. You do have to deal with, again, like scooping and having that cloudiness, but there's no grittiness, no lack of mixability outside of just, again, it's exactly like creatine. So if you want to save the extra money, you want to opt for this. This is personally what I'm going to be using in the future because I have no problem whatsoever throwing a couple scoops in my pre-workout. I don't think this is any worse than the liquid version in any way. And so for me, I, I would say, you know, this is cheaper. This is what I personally am going to get. And this is what I'm going to use moving forward. Liquid version, I guess for the people who really want that, it's there. It is a little bit of a premium. Um, and then the old version, again, I was one of those people who didn't mind the grittiness all that much. And considering how much I love glycerol, I was totally willing to deal with the grittiness. Um, 
but I heard so many people complain about the grittiness, the lack of mixability of the old formula that I think it was a good move that they decided to change it. Um, I wish though, even though this is still pretty affordable, the old version was even more affordable than this one was. And so I wish that would have at least stayed an option. Um, and I did like the flavor as well. I think it was kind of cool that they had, um, you know, the flavored versions. I really like the lemon lime one. And so, yeah, I mean, I kind of wish they, uh, they kept the old one alongside these other ones just for the people who were okay with that. But I understand I'm kind of in the minority there. So, um, it is what it is. So hopefully that can kind of illuminate if this is a product that you want to use. Um, I do have a, uh, a review of glycerol in general, but just to kind of sum that up, uh, extra hydration, extra pump, uh, performance in the gym goes up. If you are not familiar with the role in hydration that plays in your gym performance, I would definitely look into that because that is a very important thing. And I'm very, very pro uh, getting a bunch of water in throughout the day. I'm very pro glycerol. I'm very pro um, electrolytes, getting your salt, your potassium, stuff like that. And so all those things I think definitely need to be in tune, especially in the summer. And I know we're kind of winding down because we're in August now. But it's very important to do that in the hotter months or if you live in a hotter climate, I guess year round, I personally don't, but definitely something you want to keep in mind. So if you have not gone down the avenue of increasing your performance via hydration, totally look into that, whether that's glycerol or uh, just water or, you know, it's very easy to just throw salt in your uh, intra workout or whatever you want to do. So. Salt, potassium, you know, these are definitely things that I would recommend looking into in terms of increasing your performance. I think it's definitely an underrated facet that uh, just people aren't even aware about for whatever reason. So hopefully that can give you some ideas if you weren't already aware of that. And in terms of illuminating the difference between uh, this version of glycerol and other ones. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I will keep you updated and I'll talk to you soon.